What's going on YouTube? This is Ricky J. Welcome to another video. And man, I got to be honest with you. I wasn't going to make a video on the new footage of Undisputed, also known formerly as Esports Boxing Club. But I really wanted to kind of chime in and give you guys my two cents. And I just wanted to say um, big shout outs to Steel City Interactive. But um, Virtual Hug Man goes out to boxing fanatico edward who has a new position over there and man i gotta tell you they hired the best guy for the job and i wish him nothing but the best i'll send you uh, a link to the original video but obviously as you could see here or as you could hear this is muted but i wanted to just talk about the punching power now in my opinion i feel like i know this is still alpha footage but if i had to give constructive criticism I would have to say man that the punching power needs to be increased because as you see here in this video there's a lot of action going on a lot of output in my opinion like holy cow like these guys are throwing so many punches but you're not really seeing that power in the punches and we really need that power because as a player playing this game the best thing in any fighting game is to have that instilled fear in your in your mind worried about getting caught with a big shot and that's what makes the games fun when you have that potential of getting hit with some big bomb and I feel like just seeing this it doesn't have that that stopping power that one punch power that other games have you know like UFC 4 UFC 4 has that fear where you make one mistake, you're going to get rocked, you may get dropped. Even Fight Night Champion, you know, how many times, I don't know if you guys have caught my live streams, where I was on the receiving end or giving out a one-punch KO. And obviously this is just a quick one-round kind of footage of the game, but from what I see here, there's not that powerful packed punch that could stop the fight in one shot but I'm sure well I'm not sure I know a hundred percent that they're working on that but um, the punches that you see here in this clip just needs to be a little bit more forceful um, what else was I gonna say they gotta slow down the punches in my opinion a little bit or make the uh, stamina game just a little bit more realistic so don't allow the, the fighter to throw so many punches because it just seems like the punches are way too quick. Let me know if you agree with that. You see that? Especially Frotch. He's throwing like <laughs> so many punches. <laughs> Look at this. Holy cow, he's just throwing so many punches. And Edward, boxing fanatic code, he's using Nigel Ben and he's being a little bit more calculated, a little more kind of like you know, kind of pacing himself. But um, his opponent is just going rock him, sock him. So I just hope that they fix the stamina game a little bit. Don't allow you to throw so many punches. And then again, pack that power into these punches. Even the sheer animation of connecting needs to be increased, in my opinion, by five. Like, <laughs> I want to be able to feel the punch. I don't know if you play UFC 4 at all, but sometimes if you get clocked with a shot, you could feel it, man. I don't know. You could feel it in your heart. And even in Fight Night Champion, you get hit with a big bomb, you could actually feel it. I feel like these punches just aren't doing the amount of damage that I want to see. And then even, like, the facial structure doesn't change. Like, are people going to get all swollen up? You know, I want to see some face uh you know a little deformed face action going on here i want to see some blood i want to see a nosebleed you know i want to see a, a hematoma forming on somebody's forehead you know like mark hominick in ufc but yeah where's the damage on the face i want to see some of that some of those details but that's just my two cents i want to know what you guys think of this video you know, obviously it's still in the alpha stages. You know, I'll be honest with you. It was all right, man. It was all right. I still want to see more improvements. And with this great company, Still City Interactive, I'm very sure we're going to see it. Um, we just need to be 
a little bit more patient. I know people are like, how patient do I have to be? But they really want to get it right. And I've always said this, with this great company, you know, they listen to all of us, they listen to what we have to say, and they apply it to improve the game. But yeah, I'm hoping for a lot more, in my opinion. Just hoping for more, man. I want to see the best boxing game, but I want to see something that's going to blow me away. And I was telling a buddy of mine while I was at work, and I'm like, I am such a snob when it comes to gaming, or my expectation is way too high for 2022, but I have yet to been blown away by a game in quite some time since the PS3 days. So I'm hoping this game does it for me, where when I play it, I'm like, this is insane. I can't believe I'm playing this video game. It's so realistic. But lately, holy cow, man, since what? 2013? I have yet to been blown away by a game. And let me know if you agree with that. Or is I are is the expectation for the gamer just way too high? Are the bar that we've set is way too high? Let me know. But uh, I'm just going off here. <laughs> I just thought I would come on here and give you guys my honest opinion about things and what I feel they need to do to make this game better. But again, shout outs to Boxing Fanatico. Man, they've got the right guy to steer that ship. And um Holy cow, can't wait to see more footage. But anyways, guys, Ricky J, take care. I'll catch you next time. Peace. What is going on, Fight Fans? This is Edward from Steel City Interactive, and today we're going to give you one full unedited round in Undisputed. I will be on the left using Nigel Ben versus my opponent, who will be using Carl Franch. I immediately test my opponent's aggression by going to the center of the ring, then backing up to see how far forward they will push and how many punches they'll be throwing. I notice my opponent is incredibly aggressive. So I'm throwing a lot of punches to the body and to the head to try to slow him down. I can see that he blew his stamina immediately. I can tell with the stamina bar depletion as well as his animation. I throw a few feints to further test his aggression and I can see that he is still overly aggressive. Feints in this game can be used by using the block button to cancel your punch. I'm also being mindful with the Philly shell, I'm trying to make sure I'm reading my opponent's punch, rhythm, and flow to make sure I cover each pocket. The Philly shell can be an effective tool as it blocks both the head and the body simultaneously, however it leaves some pockets open. I then go into loose footwork and switch to the southpaw stance so I can give my opponent a different look not only in switching to southpaw but also changing up my tempo. One unique thing about this game when Orthodox is fighting a southpaw is that you can actually have a lead foot battle. Because the game doesn't force you to be in a straight line, you can actually move your character within a radius while being in front of your opponent. This allows you to be positioned either on the inside of your opponent or the outside of your opponent depending on where you move your fighter. Unfortunately, however, I was losing that lead foot battle to my opponent. I'm consistently paying attention to my opponent's punch rhythm, which is allowing me to catch a lot of his punches on my glove, shoulders, and arms when doing the Philly shell. I'm also ensuring to switch to full guard while using the head movement and the weave modifier to cover any pockets or if I notice that my opponent is on a broken rhythm. I'm attacking my opponent while immediately returning back to the Philly shell. And I finish it with a step back straight right counter as my opponent continues his aggression. The directional punch mechanic not only allows you to change your punches, but it also helps you escape your opponent's attack at the same time. At this point, I'm starting to notice a massive decrease in my opponent's output. And now I feel more confident to be even more aggressive than before. I end up with a powerful sequence which is a hard counter to the body which doubles up to the head and a right hook to the head to end the round. That was one full round of boxing in Undisputed. I hope you guys enjoyed that and of course there's going to be more to come just like this. See you next time.